Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa Channel 408. Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show that covers big and important stories in the industry mm -hmm. about your favorite personalities and also covers everything pertaining lifestyle. Today is no different because just like every other day, we'll be serving you with the hottest things happening and also host and chat with a bunch of really cool people in the industry. And we're a team that serves all the spice. I am not alone. To do this with me are uh, Ifeo Luoshike and Amy Olabib. Hey. Hi. Good, man. <laughs> How's it going? Not bad, man. How was your weekend? Oh. Weekend was good. Mm. Weekend was good. How about you? My weekend was absolutely amazing. It's okay. what, what I needed. Okay, so yeah. what did you do? Um, I watched thing? Movie 12. <laughs> I like Wait, that. Wait, why are you something excited? I, that, that is was exciting. Amazing. It was yeah, I watched movies throughout. And you know, last week I was early to be under the mm. weather, so I just needed this time to like get myself back in order. No, girl, I feel you. I'm with you on that mm -hmm. one. Being able to just sit down, being in, I saw one, one tweet the other day mm -hmm. where somebody was talking about how like being in bed, it's like a big deal for like it's an I event or an activity. I feel like that's me. Just being in bed, being able to I have the that. The older you get, the more you start. Yeah, just... watching movies all day. Uh, <laughs> especially, no offense, when you have not even showered, you've not done anything. Just <laughs> Thank watching, you. I'm watching, I'm watching. Uh -huh. hmm. That's All right, surprise. so in case you forget, um, it was um, somebody special's birthday. My mama. Mama. Yes. Mama Oh My. Yeah. Don't worry, I like doing my. Yeah. I've given all my love. Mommy to her Fair. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mama. Birthday. We love you. It's belated. You. But it's thank belated. You. Thank yeah. you very much. We enjoyed ourselves. Who is that telling you? Why you tell Thank you. Why say thank you? This is my mother. I'm She's her, so I'm her, I'm her spokesman you. here. Who, who asked you to tell us thank you? Okay. Well, thank Only you. Thank you very much. You've been dressed for the occasion. I feel like my mother. Like you wait, you're waiting for this. Collecting her thank yous on her behalf. Anyway, shall we? Yep. Okay, let's serve this tea. Tiwa Savage thanks foreign media and takes a swipe at local media. Her shot at local media emanates from the critical slash lukewarm reception that her album Celia got from Nigerians. On November 28th, that was day before yesterday, mm -hmm. Nigerian superstar Tiwa Savage blasted album Celia. Um, was named one of the top 10 Nigerian albums by Time magazine, which is a foreign magazine. And that's now owned by Salesforce COE, Mark Benoff. In her congratulatory message, she wrote that, and I quote, I doubted many things, but one thing I knew for sure was what a beautiful body of work myself and everybody involved created. We created magic, end of quote. This is also in light of the article that dropped over the weekend by a prominent blogging site, basically dragging her and her shortcomings into the mud. She even responded to that as well, saying that, saying that the article, well, basically saying, I am glad you know it is you, you in capital, um, you guys I'm talking about, because say I quiet, no means say I be fool. Don't try and turn Nigerian media against me to hide your guilty conscience. Ask all the media houses. I have great relationships with them. What you did with this is pure evil. Like Just because say you're quiet, no me say I be fool. Okay. Uh, okay. You don't know that song? No. Nope. Never me kid me Oli. 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 No. I, I know that Oli Oli, but somebody shout Oli. Yeah, Uli. that's old. Yeah, but I don't know that. It's part. not old, man. It's a okay. it's a new album, Celia with Naira Mali. Ah, that's I thought you were talking about the throwback. <laughs> <laughs> Oli Oli Oli. That sounds like copy right copy here. Well. Yeah. Anywho, you guys don't know Celia. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. Oh. All right. That album was hard for me to listen. No cap. Are you hey, serious? No cap. You There's only like a it. few. Yeah. There's only a few songs. I was really scared from the beginning because she first, I don't know which one came first. Maybe, but I remember when Dangerous Love, the one mm. with the sugar, that old sugar, yes, that yeah. cube sugar thing Same that was her okay. uh -huh. cover, that song came out and I know that they pushed a lot into marketing. Uh -huh. So I was hearing it everywhere and I was hearing it everywhere and I was hating it even more and more. And I was like, eee. Okay, I, think I didn't really like that it's song. It's completely different for me. Right. I think it came out August. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before I even listened to the album, I, I was seeing critics saying the album was um, mediocre, mm. it's not up to Tiwa Savage. So I had to listen to it. Mm. And trust me, when I listened to it, I loved it. Right. I don't know if I'm being biased because I'm a big, big Tiwa Savage fan. fan right now. Mm. But I absolutely love that song. Right. And I, I love the fact that she was able to mix um, Afro beats mm -hmm. and pop and create mm. her own new song. So I think we just need to give accolades to Tiwa Savage. And about her uh, um, not getting the response or acceptance from Nigeria, I think 
when you create a, a body of work, mm. not everyone will accept it. Mm -hmm. It's for it's either for you or it's not for you. Mm. So even if they don't give you Facts. accolades in Nigeria, fact that times have recognized you, that means you did a good job, girl. And I, I all right. So I'm gonna nice. take it from the angle mm -hmm. of um, a lot of women have come out to say that um, being a female single, or a female okay. celebrity in Nigeria, you have to work twice as hard, even though you're working twice mm -hmm. as good as the um, your male counterparts. Mm. And um, somebody like um, Tiwa Savage is definitely not getting as much recognition as she should be getting for the work, mm -hmm. which is what she has been talking about. This is not the first time she's. Um, spoken about this mm. so a lot of people will probably be like oh silly at that album but for a guy you know that's one album that i really enjoyed that came out in 2020 okay. silly okay. is a very good album you know my favorite song on the album is silly song which is um mm. after the title of the album mm. and i think it's an amazing song and i think um she has every right to come against them because uh, we really don't recognize our own look mm. a lot of people see america and they be like oh yeah that's where i want to be I mean, mm -hmm. they want to leave the american dream they want to go there it's not like we don't have slums in america it's not like we don't have sure. ghettos it's not mm -hmm. like we don't have people killing people it's not like we don't have robberies it's not like we don't have racism it's not like we don't have police brutality okay. it's not like but when you go to their media what do you see you see the old you see only good stuff about them but when you turn on nigerian media what else do you see you see them making Nigeria look like it's 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 uh, um, to borrow Donald Trump's words, it's a um, so country, and um, yes, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So at the end of the what day, is hey, not Wait, I wasn't to finish <laughs> talking. Well, you don't know. Don't, I said to borrow Donald Trump's words. Yeah. So country. I can't use oh. the s word. Oh, s o or s h. S whole whole h o l e. Oh. I oh, S. O. I thought you said okay. S. O. o. Like abbreviations. O. It stands okay. for something. Okay. You had the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's my H factor coming out, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah. I love the fact that you owned it. You owned it. Oh, you man, know? you can't shame the shameless, can you? <laughs> true, true. Exactly. Our, our forefathers, have not, the government has not, sh have not been able to be shamed. It's not us mm. who want to shame now. Yeah, so at the end of the day, right? So I just feel like... Um, what she's just trying to say is that we need to um, recognize and um, celebrate mm -hmm. our own a whole lot more than we do in this part of the world. But uh, will everybody love your music? No. Will everybody love your album? No. no. But at the end of the day, do we do enough justice to I our own? I think people were, we our fans were just expecting the old Tiwa Savage. Uh, you can't keep doing that. You our just fans love the album. Anyone mm -hmm. who don't love the album? Uh, not everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no not everyone. Fans. Some yeah. were like, this is not the two us that we need to fan. know and everything. But she had a blend of everything mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, music, you just have fan. to keep evolving. I think this conversation has something. kind of evolved past her first comment of, um, what's it called? You know, that Time Magazine, thank you for acknowledging yes. me. Local media try to tell me I did rubbish, mm -hmm. but we made magic. It's kind of past that, especially since the article that dropped over the weekend mm -hmm. and <laughs> basically dragged her through, like I mentioned in the introduction of the story. And I don't know if we got the chance to read that, but that for me is like the, probably the biggest conversation that's happening right now in regards mm -hmm. to Tiwa Savage, because that was really offensive. Eh, it was really offensive. I took the time to read everything. Okay. I captured every part of that article that i found well, that was not journalism that was very rude very unnecessary i even tweeted it out for my own convenience or whatever but she could take away a lot of that and i think if you take away everything that was negative from the article i have to agree with him and his point was that she doesn't really handle criticisms well True. and that for me i have to agree as a tiwa savage fan mm -hmm. um we've mentioned it quite a lot on this table when Tiwa Savage comes into the news, it's always with this type of tone. Nobody appreciates me. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my work. Nobody likes my music. The people in the, I'm the prophet that nobody likes in town. <laughs> de, 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 mm -hmm. Which can be true. Yeah. But the fact that you always talk about that and have never said, shout out to my girls. You know, there's even one time she even started doing division with the women. Mm -hmm. That women don't like her music. Uh, yeah, and that Kini people, people don't support. Uh -huh. Yeah, do you remember that? People mm -hmm. don't support or whatever, whatever. I feel like she just does that a bit too much, which is how the article started. Give an example of Jay-Z saying yeah. that 
Jay Z um, had an, an album. I, I'm not into the rap game. Oh, okay. so, um, I think The Grail or however, whatever. It was that big. It was a big mm -hmm. album when he was in his 40s, and he got poor reception from that album and his one and only interview that he granted they came and started and whatever and he just did like like he just basically shrugged it off and left it <laughs> that's how this journalist started this conversation with the article saying that's how you're supposed to respond to criticisms True. but not now then cry like a baby that oh my god yeah, is is the local media mm -hmm. uh it's I the think female you should learn how to uh, handle trolls better like people so always I think, always so be on your I think, that I think it would be nice uh -huh. because that's what something that I know started to itch me because I'm a fan and okay. my fanning for anybody is not <laughs> extreme. So maybe okay. people might not believe when I say I'm a fan, but I like her music and I, I, I'm, I'm with it. Okay. Um, wow. But one thing I've noticed about her is that even when I was following her to unfollow her, is that I felt like I wasn't getting any love, if that makes sense. As a person who actually likes um, Tiwa Savage mm -hmm. and fans her, she doesn't really address us that much. She addresses the people... Who don't like her? True. Who said something <laughs> bad? The and now she's now saying that uh, what's it called with this art, with this particular thing? She was saying that um, when she was referring to Times Magazine as she threw the local media mm -hmm. under the bus, she was saying no, it's not just it's not for every local media household. It's just polls. But that statement to me didn't really look like you were talking about one person. I mean, you gave a like whole you exactly. Mm -hmm. You gave a whole part a, a whole Bible verse about how. A, a prophet is not known in his, his own in his own city. City is yes. not made up of one media house. So, <laughs> like, I don't know, Sha. But it's what it is. Yeah, I think you should just focus more on appreciating our fans and people I that support so us than yeah. just and then also Andrew Troll yeah. better. Because it's not it, everything you have to give a reaction. I, I really so. believe that that statement from Tiwa mm -hmm. Savage is a bit um, almost hypo, hypo, um, uh, hypocritical. Because what do you want um, yeah. Yemi Alade to say? <laughs> Nobody talks true, about Yemi Alade true. here. Yemi Alade doesn't do bear contact as much as Tiwa Savage does. Mm -hmm. Tiwa Savage opens for everything. She was in Big Brother, she was in everything. There's always, you have to put, if you want to balance the gender um, performance, you okay. add Tiwa Savage before you even add Yemi. what's I'm, I call Yemi Alade. But I, I follow Yemi Alade on Twitter as well, not to compare. I mean, they're okay. each their own people. people. But yeah, I, mean, I think um, to, um, Yemi Alade has found a way to just accept her crowd and talk about that. I don't really see Yemi Alade crying that yes. okay, Nigerian female, female, female my, said, uh, uh -huh. my colleagues don't like me. Okay. Or oh, the women <laughs> in the industry, the country don't like me. Yeah, oh, the media, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah people mm -hmm. actually don't like her. I can count how many times Yemi Alade has gone on this table and people are like, I don't really like her music. So, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Anything? No. Okay. All righty. Okay, so Lil Fresh's ex girlfriend has come out again. And she's in the news um, saying that Lou Fresh boasted about wanting to kill her and then bragged about getting away with it, basically threatening her. Nigerian rapper Lou Fresh estranged girlfriend Iyoma Terire, I'm not going to say her surname, Taiwo, has alleged that he threatened to kill her while they were still together. The model made this known during a chat with the media personality Daddy Freeze. And I quote, he, she says, he bit me up so bad that... that that was when he stripped me naked and he was like, I am going to post this on social media. I am going to ruin your life. He poured water on me, bit me up, slapped me, etc., etc. She said, it's quite gory, but what are your, fix, your takes, guys? Uh, like, girl, why did you stay with this guy for so long? Mm. That's my first question. I think he dated for like 10 months or something mm. and he was beating you throughout and you still stay with this guy. Fine, I, I think some people were saying like because of fame, but she's famous now. She own. is too. So yeah. why did she stick with him? Was she in love or I was? Guess so. Can you just let me answer the question? <laughs> why did she stay with him? Um, uh, I can answer. Let me answer, please. You. I can only guess. I mean, I can only try and figure out because I've never been in an, in abusive, an abusive relationship, relationship. Mm -hmm. that long. I've I've had flings okay. with abusive people, but we didn't get into the relationship part because of the abuse. So I'm the wrong person to ask. But I mean, if you talk to a lot of people and see on TV, even when a movie tries to depict the mind of the mm -hmm. abuse, it's usually because they expect that the person will change. Because this, this type of men, no, bear, bear in mind that they're very good at apologies. Definitely. They are the ones that will buy you the world and gestures. promise, exactly. Mm -hmm. And 10 months is, to be honest, is really not that long. You'd be surprised, you'd be surprised, yes. <laughs> you'd be surprised, because I know how long I take to, like I'm very tolerant. And my, my threshold is very large, not with the beaten oh, okay. but 
but I've been in relationships where I know this guy is not good for me, but I stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. It's just that our thresholds are different. Obviously, if you touch me, I'm even too small for all of that. I'll just break. <laughs> but maybe hers yeah. is a bit different when it comes to abuse and all of that. Okay. But I want your thoughts, if especially being a guy. Mm -hmm. This is obviously coming off the back for the viewers. Okay. He came out to deny the allegations because mm -hmm. the pictures came out and the girl came out to say that she had been beaten by her boyfriend and then he came out to say she had allergies he still loves her he wants to get back with her so now this is her response with dr um, daddy freeze okay. so all right so for me first of all first and foremost um i'm gonna come from the angle of somebody who's been in an abusive relationship okay. and i know how exactly it works mm. yeah it's easier said than done why mm. do why did she stay yeah. why is she mm -hmm. there why yeah. was she there they say love is stupid yeah right and which is what we're trying to tell a lot of people that look you need to put your life first you mm. need to put yourself first okay. regardless of the relationship you're in it doesn't have to be about the person now the moment when you start loving the other person more than you love yourself mm. there is a problem because mm. self-love is the first thing first mm. the moment you're dependent on somebody that's another problem mm. Now, did she have a own? Yeah, you said she was famous to an extent. Mm -hmm. This guy was giving her jobs. He was giving her video mm -hmm. shoots. He was. He, he had contact. He had friends. It's part of the DMW. She felt that she was going to benefit from the relationship. Mm -hmm. Eventually, this mm -hmm. guy is going to be the next big thing. Mm -hmm. You get all those type of things will keep her there. And she keep waiting that, okay, I can enjoy all of this. The moment mm -hmm. I get mine, I'll leave. So this is why we tell a lot of women and a lot of men that regardless of what you do, you need to still open your eyes even mm -hmm. when you're in love. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your own make sure you are you know exactly what you want in a relationship mm -hmm. and make sure you're getting into the relationship for the right reasons mm -hmm. because if, if you're thinking about what i'm going to benefit from it or because i'm solely dependent on this person well, you know obviously you you're going to that that's that's not the reason why she she was with him it's easy. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it's easy. She could have been just genuinely yeah. being in love with the guy, to be honest. <laughs> there's also that. Hey, there's so people that, you even know, before you know, she's even scenarios. the one sponsoring the guy. She just genuinely oh, loves loved the boy. There's some people that are like that. I don't know what the story is. It's possible for a first theory as well, because okay. we've seen that quite a lot. Where money is a factor as to why mm -hmm. people stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And money here makes sense. But money is not even the only thing that I mentioned. I said love. Influence. Yeah, influence, love, influence, self love. Yeah. Benefits. Mm -hmm. Lack of self love. You don't believe in yourself, self um, dependency. Mm. Do you understand? There are a lot of things that come mm. with why anyone would stay in an abusive. Mm. In my case, it was because I was under pressure. I thought I was going to get married at that, oh. as at that time. And I felt, okay, yeah, I found my wife. And I was sticking around because I felt, okay, we'll make this work and then we'll get married. But it didn't work. <laughs> you need to say that too. <laughs> But it didn't work. So um, it wasn't a thing of I didn't have self love or mm. there were no other girls. You know, they were there. But yeah. yeah, but at the end of the day, I just felt okay, it was there was a particular thing keeping me. Mm. And it was the fact that I <laughs> felt like okay, it was time for me to settle down. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And then yeah, so it happens, you know, people yeah. stick around in the in the in the in the most toxic relationship. Yeah. We even have friends that are really toxic for mm. us that yeah. you but know it. Keep around. But yeah. you still keep them around because you know. But you find out that every time you hang out with our friend, you can't go back home with one headache or the <laughs> other. Like, true. Yeah, they're friends it's like that. Just, bruises and mental, mental bruises. Yeah, they just, sure. they just, they just yeah. stress you out. They just, mm, okay. that's, that's their job in your life to come and stress so what you. What she just said kind of implicates the video. You, did you read what she said? You're like, um, he threatened to kill me, and you're like, if I stay in prison, the video is going to bail me out. Mm. How did I With that David statement, David. you you just sit down and wonder. Right, I don't David know if you only mean like David is this what um, David David stands, stands for? for? Yeah. Is this what David supports? I don't think like, so, but I get I get why you. It is. I think it's fair enough to ask that question. But I think you can answer that question as well. As yeah. well, personally, just this and just it's say fair, it's fair to say that um, it, it's 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 kind of like uh, very derogatory to David Doe, but mm. saying okay, implicate okay, 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 David Doe okay. is like saying. I guess maybe not implicate, but it makes you question. question. For a David second, that yes. ah, bro, because no. I mean, yeah, no, think about it. If you can sue for defamation, you know, yes, he can. No, away from David, because even when you mentioned that, I was saying you can ask that question, which I feel like it's okay to get mm -hmm. to that point. That because I don't think you mention everyone's name for certain things, it's yeah. like there's some people you know that are Jesus, yeah, Jesus. yeah. I don't expect mm -hmm. that you cover me when I say I want to go to the club or something, I just know that you wouldn't. So it'll be weird to now say her name, that kind of situation. situation. But then with this particular case, it is okay to say, ah, 
Why would he say that kind of statement? But I think even you can answer that question because what does Davido stand for? Is it the kind of person that has... Mm -hmm. And because he's been quite vocal about himself and yeah. we've heard other people talk about him and we saw the way he even responded to this case that when that question comes up, even you can answer and say nah mm -hmm. because the first thing he did was kick the boy out despite the benefits he could have gotten from this boy in terms mm -hmm. of royalties and all of that. Yeah. So I think it's fair to say that this guy is just really narcissistic. Okay. Like in his mind, mm -hmm. he thinks that what yeah. he's doing he's is well so good connected. and that Davido will also Ooh, not mind. Exactly. Davido will choose him over this girl that he clearly doesn't value clearly that girl is like a punching bag is that she's as good as a punching bag i think obviously 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 except you are a a, a an obsessive fan every other nigerian i've seen has been able to see the story and find it very easy to analyze but if you look at the um, daddy freezes comment section where this video was uploaded mm -hmm. you would see that quite a lot of people are questioning her i smell lies I, this is this and and it's something that you mentioned and I hope that they watch what what this episode because of your response answers to their doubts okay. when somebody stays in that thing for long it starts like you said you start to wonder why are you doing that especially for people who have never been in that relation um, in an abusive Situation. relationship mm -hmm. before it's easy to say madam I don't understand the guy was putting you in that inside the inside the shower pouring water on you putting the AC freezing you to death choking you. you like it's strange nobody understands that except for obviously people who've been in that situation so nobody thinks about the fact that it wasn't as easy for her to get out. So I'm hoping that those people who are tarnishing mm. her, her, her effort and her courage to come out and even speak about such an embarrassing, hard thing can obviously listen to something like what Ife had yeah. mentioned and try and show empathy. That it's not that easy for everybody to just come out of a situation. Even We've seen that even with family, where mm -hmm. like your family is toxic. It's hard to pull out from people that you love. So... Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah. And what Ife said is actually absolutely correct. Like, when you're in love, you do stupid things. Yeah. So, even, I just, my my own opinion is like, even though you're in love, please just try to use your brain. Like, can I accept this? Is this is this what a relationship is supposed to? Yeah. Is this what I'm supposed to do in a relationship? So, yeah. And I, I think maybe the, my last comment would be about the PR team for um, Lou Fresh. Because <laughs> if this is, so, like... If we're getting new videos out, like is this, this I don't know if you went to Dr. Freeze's YouTube. I keep calling him Doctor. Daddy Freeze's um, YouTube. You will see, uh, yeah, you will see more pictures that yeah. there's blood. So that story that he said that she had allergies, he's gonna have to come up with another lie right. for the blood now. And then if we see another maybe bruise or or he's gonna have to come up. So I don't know why they cannot just advise him, even if you don't have any grand plan. Like the PR team is so mm -hmm. stupid. Can you just tell the guy to keep quiet? Because he keeps digging himself deeper. But anyway, please, um, please feel free to share your thoughts on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Tea Time will go on a quick break, but we will be right back. Do stay with us.